Today we are going to be learning about two more um, techniques that we are adding to our studios. So the first technique is going to be at our painting studio. We are adding a new kind of paint and this paint is called paint cups. So the paint cups are in this little container. When you are holding this container, hold it like a lunch tray. Do not tip it from side to side or hold it sideways because the paint will spill. Hold it like a lunch tray. You need to carefully take off the lid and you'll see there are paint cups. Sometimes they get mixed up and that's okay. That happens. Okay, so for paint cups you need a placemat. You need the paint cups. You also need a brush and a water bowl. And for this one you need to have a washcloth. Okay, so you're going to get your piece of paper. You can write your name on it first, on the front or the back, wherever you want to. I'm gonna write mine on the back. And then you are going to start to paint. I have my paintbrush in water, so before I dip it in the paint, I need to dry it off on the rag. So I'm gonna dry it off, and now I'm ready to paint. You're going to dip your brush in the paint cup. You don't need to scoop up a bunch of paint, just dip and then you can start to paint. When you run out of paint, you can just load your brush back up. Okay, this paint is to be used with brushes. We're not finger painting, just with brushes. When you need a new color, you need to rinse your brush out. I'm gonna swirl it around in the water. I'm going to dry it off on the rag, and then I can get a new color. Okay. When you're painting, make sure your brush is like a ballerina, painting on its tiptoes, not sitting on their bottom and scooting around. Okay, gentle and on their toes like a ballerina. If you run out of paint in the paint cups, just raise your hand and Mrs. King will come refill it. Okay, our other technique is going to be at the printmaking studio. And um, it also uses paint cups. So you'll need the same supplies. You'll need a placemat and paper. You can use different sizes of paper. You'll need your paint cups and then a brush, your washcloth, and then you also need these muffin tins. So there's a two of those at the printmaking studio. So before I start, I want to make sure I put my name on my papers because it's hard to put names on papers after they are wet and covered in paint. So I'm writing my name first, okay, and now I'm going to get my muffin tin, okay. So for the muffin tin prints, it's kind of fun and kind of silly. You're going to be painting on this top part of the muffin tin. So you're going to put your muffin tin upside down. We're not making cupcakes, okay? Put it upside down, and we're gonna be using our brush to paint right on top of this area right here. So I'm gonna take my clean brush, I'm gonna dip it in the paint, and I'm going to paint just on the top. Don't paint the sides, just on the top. You can try just doing it one color. Um, you could try doing patterns, like I'm gonna do stripes on this one. Just like before, you've got to rinse your brush and dry it off before you get a new color. I'm going to try green, add some green stripes, rinse my brush out. I'm going to start with some yellow. We don't need a ton of paint on the top. We don't want puddles. Just kind of a nice thin layer of paint. I've got one more that I'm gonna paint, we'll do blue. And this one I think I'm gonna try to do like a swirl. So I did blue, I'm gonna rinse my brush out, dry it off, and red, swirl that, okay? So then you are going to take your paper and you're actually going to set it right on top of the muffin tin and you're gonna carefully and slowly press it down. Okay, make sure you press all parts that you painted. 
And then you're going to lift it up. Cool. And see what it looks like. Okay. You can let this dry and then you could take it to the drawing studio and add details. You could cut these out and make lots of different little artworks. Um, it's up to you, the artist.